In this video, I'm going to show you how to get the Grove Street World Filter from GTA on Snapchat, and it's pretty easy to do, so let's get started. Okay, so first things first, you're going to want to open your Snapchat app, of course, and once it's loaded and you're on your Snapchat camera, you just want to go to the smiley face icon next to the record button and tap on it. Now a list of filters will come up and if you scroll through them, you will notice that you're not actually going to see this filter in here unless you have already saved it. But what you need to do to continue is press on explore at the bottom right and now this page will come up. Now you just want to go ahead and press the search bar at the top of the page and type in grocery world. And the one you want to pick is this one in all caps by Nikita Treshelov. So just tap on that. And this is what the filter looks like. And what you can do with this is rotate it by pressing down with one finger and rotating with the other. And if you want them to be the same size as someone else that's in frame, what you can do is make the characters bigger or smaller by using both fingers and you can resize them to match your scene. And once you've got your composition set up, you can just either press and hold to record or take a picture by just tapping the button in the middle and then you can choose to edit it and send it or really just whatever you want to do with it. And finally to save the filter, you can choose either to favorite it before you go and take the snap by pressing favorite down here and then you can find it on your filter explore page here or you can choose to save it so that it comes up in your snapchat filters list on your main camera screen and to do that you just need to take a picture with this filter enabled and then press save at the bottom left corner to save it to your memories and then when you come back and go to your filters it should be here just to the right and that's how you can get the groove street world filter on snapchat if this video helped you out in any way, please leave a like and consider subscribing to help me on my journey to becoming the biggest digital tutorial channel on YouTube. And if you have any further questions, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. And I'm sure I can help you out. See you next time. Bye bye.